Okay, algebra, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're looking at unit six, notes one. This is going to be uh, this entire unit centered around exponents and kind of what happens and what they look like and how they behave in certain situations. So we're going to start off just simple scientific notation. For those of you guys that don't know yet, scientific notation means really, really big numbers or really, really small numbers and representing those using exponents. So let's take a quick look. Um, scientific notation. Use to write numbers with many decimal places in a more condensed form and use as base 10 to indicate how many places are missing. So this would be called the coefficient. This is called your base, which is almost always going to be 10. And this is your exponent, which tells you how many decimal places to move it over. So if I start here, start writing the, sci the numbers in scientific notation, uh, let's go with this color. So it will look like this. So I move it over three places, six places, seven, eight, nine places. So my coefficient is going to be 1.329 times 10 raised to the ninth power. All right, so I'm going to move that over nine places, and it's going to be 1.329. So this Coefficients got to be between 1 and 10. If it's smaller than 1, it's too small. If it's bigger than 10, it's too big. All right, so if I look at number 2, now notice number 2, I'm going right. 2, 3, 4, 5 spots. So going 5 spots, my coefficient becomes 6.8 times 10. Now take a look here. Since I moved right, this becomes a negative 5. All right, so hold on. Let me rewrite that. So that's going to be a negative 5. So now down here with number 3, uh, things, the, things get a little crazy down here because even though I move it over 3, 6, 9 spots, my coefficient is going to be ridiculously long. So it's actually going to be 2.456789102 times 10 to the ninth place. So like I said, something ridiculously long. So that's what that's going to look like. So 2 point, that whole thing, times 10 to the ninth. Now number 4, I'm moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's going to be 8.9 times 10 to the negative 11. Notice, little numbers mean negative exponents. So little numbers mean negative exponents. So kind of moving this, kind of going the other way with this, when I see that this is 5, that's fine. All I'm going to do then is, um, all I'm going to do then is move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, but then I'm going to keep adding zeros until I get out there. So that's 4, that's 5. So now my number becomes 326,700. So there's my answer. So again, for skip down here number 7. I go 4, then I move it over once for 5, then I keep adding zeros until I get to 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. So my answer becomes 45, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 45 million. So for 6 and 8, remember, this is a negative, so that means I'm going to go left. So I go... 4, 5, 6, 7, but then I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. So my answer is actually going to be 0 0.004567. There's my answer. So here, negative 8 means I'm going that way 8 places. So what I end up doing is adding 7 zeros because I move this over 1, and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Three, six, eight, seven. There's my answer. And if I look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be what that looks like. So operations with scientific notation. Adding and subtracting. If exponents are the same, easy. Add the coefficients. If exponents are different, you have to convert to standard form, add or subtract, and then convert back to scientific notation. Uh, multiplying, multiply the coefficients and add the exponents. Divide, divide the coefficients and then subtract the exponents. All right, so hit pause and make sure you got this down somewhere. 
So taking a look here, since this is addition, all right, I've got the same here, same here, so that's easy. I just add 0.37 and 4.57. So 0.37 plus 4.57 becomes 4.94 times 10, oops, times 10 to the third. That's all it is, all right? Number of 10. Remember, multiply the numbers, 2.37 times 3.47 is going to be 8.2239, and then add the exponent, so times 10 to the 7th. So here, 9.60 divided by 1.60, I'm on number 11 here, so I take 9.6 divided by 1.6, and that just gives me 6, but then I subtract the exponent, so that's going to give me that for an answer, 6 times 10 to the third. Now, 12, it's subtraction, but these are different bases, or different uh, exponents. So what I've got to do is literally multiply this out, subtract it, and then put it back in scientific notation. So this becomes 4, 8, 2, 1, 2, 3. This becomes 48,200. This becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this becomes 3.4 million. So this becomes 48,200 minus 3,450,000. So I get negative 3401800. So that's negative 3 million. So just to knock, finish this off, it's going to be 1, 2, oops. So moving it back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be negative 3.4018 times 10 to the 6th. There's my answer. It's okay if I've got a negative one. That's fine. All right, but that's kind of how you do the order of operations. So here, performing it and leave my answers in scientific notation. So this is going to get a little bit different. So if I hear... Number 13, I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to take 6 times 2.5. So that's going to give me 15. 10 to the third, 10 to, 10 to the second, add those two. So I get 10 to the fifth. But my coefficient is now bigger than 10. I can't have that. So all I do is I move this over 1, so it becomes 1.5. And I add 1 up here, so this becomes 10 to the sixth. So for number 14, um, same kind of idea, 7.8 divided by 1.2 becomes 6.5. Then I subtract exponents, and that gives me 10 to the negative 1. So what does that mean? That means that this becomes 10 to the negative 1. Well, negative means I go this way, so now my answer is actually point. 0.65 instead of point instead of 6.5. But that would be my answer. For number 15, take a look. Negative exponents still become negative exponents. So 8.1 divided by 9.0 becomes 0.9. Negative 2 minus 2 becomes times 10 to the negative fourth. But now this is smaller than 1. So I've actually got to move this over 1. And I'm going to add 1 up here. So this becomes 9 times 10 to the negative third. All right, so here, a little bit of mixing and matching. Kind of take this one by itself. So we're going to multiply this first. So 2.4 times 1.8 is going to give you 4.32. Then when I add the exponents, that's going to be times 10 to the second. So then I'm going to divide this. So 6.48 divided by 4.32 is going to be 1.5. Then subtract the exponents. And after all that, I get 1.5 times 10 to the third. All right, that is going to be that. Scroll back through this, see if you've got any questions, and uh, come talk to me.